um, exciting. I think uh, Papua New Guinea is probably the most passionate uh, rugby league uh, country in the world, easily. Um, if you've ever been there, you would understand uh, it's actually uh, mental. Um, our supporters, our fans are, um, are the best in the world. Uh, it honestly stops the whole nation when we uh, get to play. So um, for me, I'm, I'm just, I can't wait to represent the Kumuls. For, for the Kumuls, definitely, but um, to represent where you're from, um, that's a big motivation to, to get back into it, your culture and your, your history and um, you know be part of a group uh, trying to achieve a, a massive goal is also um, you know a massive thing is why why we want to do this. So um, yeah, the motivation is always to, to win a World Cup, but um, to be able to get back to your culture and, and represent where you're from is um, you know the biggest thing. I don't know, probably more um, uh, anxiousness. I wouldn't say anxiousness, but excitement just to get back into that jersey. Um, it's been a long time. It's been 2019 was the last time I got to, to wear the jersey. And um, yeah, I, it's what I look forward to at the end of a, end of a long season is to, to get to represent the Kumuls. And um, yeah, the delay probably didn't really affect anything in the long run. But um, yeah, we're here now and we get to do it in, in a week or so time. Tonga, we got um, round one. Um, they've been one of the best teams in the last few years. Uh, they've been leading the way with uh, players, you know, returning back to it where they want to, where their family comes from, and where they represent. So this year we've seen uh, Samoa do the same, and, and Fiji always get a lot of uh, players going back to them, and and the Kumuls we always, you know, where the players are always loyal to the Kumuls and, and come back to us. But I think what they've done is, um, you know, the competition has definitely evened out um, but yeah we got them round one uh, which is going to be a big game for us it'll set our, our World Cup up I think uh, to see where we're at um, round two we've got Cook Islands who have named a strong team as well and um, they've got some quality players coming in into their team and um, they've probably named the strongest Cook Islands team they've named as well so that'll be a, a strong strong game as well and um, I think that'll be another challenge for us and then uh, we got Wales um, and we got to play them in 2017 in the World Cup uh, in our home uh, in Papua New Guinea and they got to experience that but now it's their turn and we get to play them over here so who knows what will happen there but um, I think you know they've they've got a, a big challenge and, and we need to turn up for that game and and, and try and uh, win that as uh, yeah it's a must win probably. I'm gonna say Edwin and Pape. Um, He's been uh, killing it over here for League Centurions. Um, got player of the, the season for that competition. Um, he's had a massive year. Um, he's looking in fine form. He looks like that pole, that that wooden pole right there. He's he's solid. So um, I think he's going to be unbelievable for us. So um, watch out for him. I think that's the best thing about this sport is that everyone gets a chance to play it. Um, no matter where you come from, what you do, who you are as a person, um, I think that's the best thing. And um, you know, to get that opportunity to, to represent where you, you come from is, is what we're all here for. And um, I think it's just you know a testament to where we're all trying to go as a sport. And um, we all want people to be involved and, and enjoy it and um, have fun, which is the main thing. And that's what you can do. And um, yeah, I think this is, is a great initiative on, on this World Cup to, to have that and um, hopefully it goes as well as we all hope it too and I think it will.